Hi everyone, this is Julie Bonner of Redmond Toasters. What I'd like to show you today is how to sign up for meetings. And if we didn't do it through EasySpeak, we'd have to do this manually somehow, which uh, we'd probably have to bring pieces of paper to the meetings and things like that. But at least EasySpeak allows us to do this somewhat in an automated fashion. So what we want to do is go over to My Participation and then click on sign up for meetings. As you can see here, I've actually already signed up for a bunch of meetings. On this one in particular, on June the 4th, I have said uh, that I will not be attending that meeting, but I am attending on June 11th, May 28th, and May 21st. So how do you s sign up for these? Well, here is a drop down that you can click on and there's a range of different meetings that are set up. I know I have already gone through and signed up and declined certain meetings throughout the months coming up. However, there's a couple of them that I have not said anything yet. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom and pretty soon it'll pop up and it will show that on August the 6th I've said no, I cannot attend. On August the 13th I have said yes, I can attend. On August the 20th, I will be able to attend. And unfortunately, it goes all the way back to the very top or the very uh, or the most um, immediate meetings. So now I have to go back to this and go back to this one here. And you'll see now that I have actually signed up for the 20th of August. However, on the 27th of August, I know that I cannot go, and so I will click the No button. It's going to ask me why I'm not attending, and I am going to be on vacation. You don't have to put anything there. Uh, we don't track that as a club or anything like that, uh, but I do put that in there if anybody ever cares to see it, and click OK. It goes back to the beginning. And if I want to see that I actually have done it appropriately, then yes, there it is. Now, if for any reason, let's say that on August the 6th, I suddenly realize that I can go at some point in time, I can always change this to a yes rather than a no. Or if I find out that I can't go on August the 13th like I had originally planned to go, I can change it from yes to no. And that's as easy as it gets. All right, and I will talk to you again soon on another video. Thank you.